Hi dear students, welcome to Social Science class. In today's class, we will be continuing the 8th lesson in Social Science, that is Magical Universe. In the last class, we have studied about the planets and the celestial objects like asteroid, comets and meteoroids. And in today's class, we will be studying the difference between rotation and revolution and the, as we studied before, Earth is a planet, right? And it is a very unique planet around more than 73 percentage of the Earth is covered with water and that's why the Earth is known as a blue planet. In today's class, we'll be studying what is the major difference, why, what is the difference between rotation and revolution, the movement of the Earth, okay? In today's class, we'll be studying about the uh, different movements of the Earth. The Earth is shaped like a sphere and is tilted, the shape of the Earth is sphere. Sphere means what a ball like shape and it is tilted. The position of the earth is not straight. Instead it is tilted around 23.5 degree. Okay as you see here in the image okay he this imaginary line which passes from uh, from the north pole to south pole this imaginary line is called what axis okay the imaginary line that runs through the earth from the top to bottom is known as axis so earth rotates in uh, in its axis and is uh, tilted around 23.5 degree so what is an axis uh, the imaginary lines or the imaginary imaginary line which passes from the top to bottom of the earth is called an axis it is upper end is called the north pole and the lower end is called the south pole there are two ends ends are there for the axis right the upper end this north pole okay north pole and the south pole so the line okay the imaginary line which passes from north pole to south pole right this is the major line major line which is pa passes from north pole this end is called north pole the upper end is called north pole and the bottom end the lower end is called south pole so the axis of the earth is passes from north pole to south pole and the earth spins around its axis from west to east direction so earth rotate in its axis from west to east direction and the this movement is called what rotation the movement of the earth in its axis from west to east direction is called what rotation the movement of is called is called rotation the earth completes one rotation is about 24 hours so how much time the earth take for one rotation uh, the earth usually uh, the 24 hours is the time for one rotation of the earth the part of the earth that faces the sun experiences daylight while the other experiences in night okay while it's rotation the part as you see here in the image right while earth rotation the part which faces the sun experience what daylight and the opposite side uh, right the side which is far away from the sun experience what experiences night so this this what causes the day and light this is how the day and light night occur in our life right this while its rotation, the part, the tilted portion which is faces towards the sun experience day and the opposite side, opposite side experience what? Night. Then, now we are going to study about another imaginary imaginary lines. Why we are using this kind of imaginary, imaginary lines like uh, uh, axis or equator. Now we are going to study about the equator. So, these imaginary lines that we are using to study more about the different locations and different places on earth so now we can study another imaginary line is called equator the equator is an imaginary line located at the e equal distance from both poles it divides the earth into two equal halves so this line okay this equator as this is the center line on the earth or on, or in the globe and this equator divides the earth into two equal parts the northern side is called northern hemisphere and the southern part is called southern hemisphere so here the equator the, uh, the equator divides the earth into two equal part northern northern hemisphere and southern hemisphere the upper half the upper half of the earth is called 
northern hemisphere and the lower half this half is called southern hemisphere while the earth rotates on its axis it also moves around the sun on its orbit this movement is called revolution one complete revolution takes 365 days and 6 hours so while the earth rotates on its axis it also rotates around the sun right and this particular moment is called what revolution so when the earth rotates in its own axis is called rotation and when the earth rotates around the sun at the same time the earth also rotate around, around the sun and that particular moment is called what revolution so for complete one revolution the earth takes 365 days and six hours six hours then the revolution of the earth causes different seasonal changes on earth so we have different seasons like winter summer isn't it so the is the seasonal changes that we have on earth is mainly due to the revolution or happening due to the revolution of the earth during the revolution the part of the earth tilted towards the sun experiences summer because it is it gets more light and heat from the sun experiences winter because it gets less light and heat from the sun now we're going to study how the seasonal seasonal changes happens due to revolutions so due to revolution what happens ah the tilted portion for example here this tilted portion gets more light right right so this tilted part is experience what ah summer because in some this part gets more uh, tilted towards the sun and than that time the earth receive gets more light from the light and heat from the sun and that particular time what happens uh, we experience that particular place experience what climate uh, summer climate and the, the opposite side and this side is away and that time this part will be away from the sun right and that time these places these uh, places of the earth experience what climate winter climate what is the major reason because that time the tilted portion of the earth is away from the sun and that such places won't experience or won't receive won't get much amount of heat and light from the sun that's why we experience different seasons due to revolutions so due to revolution the part of the earth tilted towards the sun experiences summer because it gets more light and heat from the sun experiences winter because it gets less light and heat from the sun so in today's class we have understood the difference between rotation and revolution of the earth so this is a note for the day sixth question how do day and night occur on earth the answer the earth spins around its axis from the west to east this movement is called rotation the earth completes one rotation in about 24 hours the part of the earth that faces the sun experiences daylight while the other experiences night so this uh, this is a note for you write down the note in the notebook and study it and read the textbook minimum three to four times and get signature from your parent we'll be seeing in next class thank you